Hey everyone, Matthew here. I'm going to today share with you guys how I use watermarking on my images, what app I use, how you guys can put watermarks on yours to make sure that nobody takes it and uses it without taking you guys. Let's go. Whew. All right guys, let's get started. So I'm using an Android device, so follow along. If you're using an Apple phone, it's the same concept. You're just gonna have to get the app and follow the instructions that are based on that app. It's the exact same thing. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen. Okay guys, so the app is called Logolicious. So you're gonna pull that up. Now, it's gonna come up right now as a blank screen. First thing you gotta do is you gotta load an image. So what you're gonna do is on the bottom left-hand side, you're gonna, uh, sorry, bottom right-hand side, you're gonna click select an image. So we're gonna click that. Now you can take a photo. Let's go ahead and take a photo. We'll do a selfie. Done. Press accept. Now, what's the format that you want to use it in? So in this case, for Instagram, we're going to make it as a one by one. So we're going to go ahead and click one by one format. I'm going to click OK. There we go. Now we're going to add the logo just once. And then you're going to search for basically where your logo is. Okay, so before we do that, you need to make sure that you have your logo already on your phone. If you don't, you need to get it on your phone. So whatever watermark you want to use, or if you want to type it in by text, you can do that too. But if you do have a logo, you want to make sure that's on your phone already. So in this case, I'm going to go to my Dropbox. I'm going to click on my image. I'm going to click on download. So I'm going to export that. I'm going to save it to my device. I'll leave it under Instagram. Done. So it's exported. And I'm going to go back to Logolicious. I'm going to click on logo or load. Just once we want to use it, we're going to go to Instagram because it's supposed to be in here. Scroll down and there it is. Click on that. So there's the logo. Now, you can resize this logo, as you can see. Okay, so if you want to watermark something, you're going to pop that into there. Now, you can also change, you can see the opacity that's on the bottom. So we're just going to put it so that it's a little bit. And I like to just put a little bit because I want you to still see the image, but I want people to know that I took that picture and not somebody else. So we're just going to put it, you know, again, it's, it's personal preference, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and click it right to there. And then I'm going to add some text. How to add watermark. Okay, you can just select the font, whatever you like. Okay, so that's done. Now what's cool about this app is that you can actually save this as part of one of your logos. So um, you can save the template as um, something that you're already working on. So in the future, you can go ahead and just kind of s submit a picture in there and it's already done, the logo is done. Um, in this case, just for example, I'm just gonna show you how to add stuff to it. You can change the color of your fonts. Um, once that's all done, you're gonna save it on your device or you can go ahead and click on share. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and save on device. Okay, this one here is, uh, we'll just call it logo, save, save. Now, I'm just gonna show you, give you an example if I was to sh um, share it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click share. Now, you're gonna pick 100% high quality, no noticeable loss, what it's called. I'm just gonna call it logo, just for argument's sake. And then you'll see all the different examples of where you can post it. So in this case, there's Snap, there's Snapchat, sorry, there's Instagram. So I'm gonna go right to Instagram. There it is. It's that simple, guys. So you're watermarked. You can save it as a template. You can always use it in the future. It's really quick. It's really simple. Okay, guys, so that's it. It's that simple. I use Logolicious. There's a lot of other watermark apps that are out there on the uh, Apple device or Android device. Just find which one that you like. This is the one that I use that works well. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to DM me or leave a comment down below and I'll hopefully give you some more tutorials soon. Thanks, guys. Peace out.